its embroidery at its finest. As the exhibition finishes on the 5th of February, we kick off our 250th anniversary celebrations starting now. For us, the embellished handbag has been a truly unique experience. So Hand and Lock is a bespoke embroidery company. We supply embroidery to big fashion houses, um, so that could be commercial or couture. We also supply the Royal Forces with their embroidery and their accoutrements and laces, and we sometimes do work for the Royal Family. We also do private commissions, so that could be anyone that comes um, off the street or uh, through the door, and we will do any of the, their embroidery. So. The embroidery that we do is vast. We pretty much do every type of embroidery, but we produce um, a sample collection every six months, which hopefully sits on the cutting edge of new embroidery techniques. For our 250 years anniversary, we were doing lots of different celebrations. We, I guess we kick off with the 1st of February, where we are showing the 13 embroidered bags at the V&A. And then we will go off to Australia, where we will do a conference in Sydney, along with going to Chicago and London to also do the same sort of setup where we'll do conferences there. So we've got internationally renowned embroidery and academics coming to speak for us and people from other parts of the fashion or military world that can come together and talk about embroidery um, in all three locations. Um, then we will also have a two-day exhibition which will be in London at the Bishopsgate Institute which is a great place for us to be. Um, and then we finish at the end of next year with the auction of the bags. So that's kind of a year of, of celebrations for us. I love this company. Uh, it's so subjective to say, but I think that it's one of the few companies in the world that has the history that we have. And it's something that is such a forefront of, of pushing craft and skill sets within embroidery to the next generation. So we've done it for 250 years. And I think that I just have so much love for this company even before I started working here, that like knowing that they have the competition, knowing that they want to include students in it, that they want to have uh, schools involved, like both professionals to you know, your interns, your students, that is, you know, the path of becoming someone yet. And I think it's such a, you need role models like that nowadays, like more than ever. And you need someone to take a stand for it and saying that, you know, quality does matter, it's not dead, but you can, you know, you can update it or you can use it in a traditional way. And I think that because I've been teaching before, I've been seeing so many different students, there's a real love for wanting to learn proper skills. And we see it for all our amazing interns that come in here. They have so much, like they're so hungry to learn. And I think that that's just such a small part of our business. And then a part of the fact that we've, you know, done work for, you know, military, royals, films, Marilyn Monroe, you know, Burberry, fashion houses, you know, all the time. It's just such a, and I like the fact that we've always been in one way very humble about it. And I think that. It might sound old fashioned, but I actually think it's quite refreshing in the times we live in now when everything is quite unstable when it comes to the fashion world. So I, th I think it's an amazing company. So I worked with Hand a lot many years ago on personal projects for a family I used to work with. Um, so they used to be our point of call for any kind of personal embroidery from the family, from homeware to accessories, soft accessories. Um, I remember having a call from my boss one day asking for literally a dozen eye masks to be embroidered with, I guess, initials that had a lot just turned around in a day. They're obviously the country's best embroiderers, I think. They're amazing. And um, I think what, the, what this project has done as well is just really showcase 
the talent they've got, the individual talent has just been amazing. Hand and Lock originally started as M Hand, um, who was a military tailor and accoutrements uh, maker. And so he mainly dealt with the military, the royal forces and any sort of like ecclesiastical embroidery and he started in 1767 and has run ever since. Then S. Locke um, started in the 50s and he was the more fashion. So he dealt with Hardy Amy's, Catherine Walker. Um, he also did embroidery for the royal family as well. So before the two companies merged, they were both working for the same sort of avenues of royalty. And then in 2001, the company was bought out. and Well, both companies were bought and uh, they amalgamated to form Hand and Lock. The Embellished Handbag project started as an idea where we thought we would get in contact with lots of accessory brands to produce one-off embroidered bags. As we all do, we make our ideas bigger and bigger and we've ended up with 13 embroidered handbags. So we've actually collaborated with several uh, handbag designers um, to celebrate a very kind of central um, and shared design philosophy which is kind of craftsmanship. Uh, so we wanted to come together and produce a collection of, of work which, you know, kind of displayed all of the things that we can do in terms of embroidery successfully, but with an item which we kind of thought could or would be a really great way to, dis to display that, but would also be accessible to a lot of people because we have an idea to auction these pieces off at the end of the year for a charity which supports craftsmanship. Both our founder Julie Dean and myself are ambassadors for a charity called Quest which is the Queen Elizabeth Scholarship Trust and Quest approached us and told us that Hand and Lock were doing this project and we jumped to the chance to be involved and we're all about British manufacturing and the fact that this project kind of showcases not only arm manufacturing but the kind of expertise skills from Hand and Lock just ticked every box for us. We set out to champion and to raise the profile of British craftsmen and British craftswomen. Britain has led the world in craft. You only have to look at the buildings, the countryside, the fabric, the clothing. It's all to do with craft. What we want to achieve is people setting up sustainable craft businesses, both attaining excellence in their discipline, but sustaining a real business commerciality so that they can go on and hand on their skills to yet another generation of people. To be chosen by Hand and Lock as their beneficiary is for Quest a magical moment. Here we have two organizations totally focused on craft, on beauty, on aesthetics. That couldn't really be a better partnership. And then on above that, you're taking this project around the world. You're talking about Quest around the world. Wow, that's fantastic for us. But more importantly, you're talking about your designers, their care, their creativity, what they aspire to, brilliantly displayed in your exhibition. It's a very happy marriage. I hope it's the first of many. We became involved with uh, the project with Hand and Lock um, as they approached us. Um, we had no idea this was happening, so once they described to me uh, the project, I was very excited to get involved. I think when Laura came up with some uh, ideas of what embroidery designs, uh, we, we chatted it through, and then just one of them just screamed out for our, our backpack. Um, the simplicity of it, it just married really well. Laura's inspiration behind the design was to come up with some marbling effect, uh, which hadn't been done in embroidery before. Uh, she came up with three designs, but this one particular design was just perfect for us. Um, with the monochrome colours and things, it just suited our brand beautifully. So I wanted to do something that was simple but effective, basically. The design's based on marble, so I presented them with some mood boards, some concepts, how we were going to do the embroidery, how it would be applied to the bag, which is really important. Yeah, and they, they loved it, and they said yes. They liked that one, and then we went ahead and had it made, and they applied it. Yeah, really simple process. We um, got a lovely email from Jess, I think it was, saying, um, please come in, we'd love to chat to you, we've heard about your brand and we're, this is the project that we're, we're you know, trying to get off the ground and um, we'd love to have you on board. So this was, this was 
you know, fantastic. We, are, we went along and met everyone and looked at all the lovely things that are created in their studio. And um, basically we'd, we'd been looking for a collaboration like this and just felt so lucky that they had phoned. We spoke to them about the different types of embroidery that we thought they'd like, how they wanted it to come across, what bag we'd choose to embroider onto, and we came up with the concept of using the colours from a magpie, because magpie is their logo. I just felt it was it made the most sense to go to our starting point, which was our emblem, our brand emblem, which is a magpie. So as soon as you say that, you think of the lovely iridescent colours, the, the greens and blues, the monochrome, the everything you know seemed very clear. I think to both. Both of us, both companies. We've been working with Hand and Lock for two years, and uh, I absolutely all inspired um, by their beautiful hand craftsmanship and beautiful embroidery. And in their workshop, I always couldn't stop watching uh, how their embroiderers doing the, this amazing embellishment and embroidery. So one day they asked to do the collaboration together and uh, created the unique bag, and I was super excited so I thought great let's do something together um, so yes and this is how it started so the bag for the hand and lock project is um, from our core collection and it incorporates all of the stickers that we used in the spring summer 17 collection which have all been hand embroidered so beautifully by hand and lock I think both brands um, share a lot of the same core values such as craftsmanship and workmanship and skill so I think that part of it is, you know, we're both singing from the same hymn sheet, really. It's actually made me want to uh, progress more with it, so I've introduced it into my Autumn Winter 17 collection, which is actually quite a core design feature throughout the range. So we've used it in lots of different ways, in a graphic, embroidery way, as well as um, like a, an illustrated way. So, yeah, it's, it's definitely um, sparked something. Working with Hand and Lock and, and the auction that um, they're putting together with these handbags is is a great way of raising funds because you know it's not only showcasing the talents and the skills and the workmanship that they are supporting through the funds that they're raising, um, but it also is raising much needed funds for a really kind of uh, under-supported area of, of the fashion industry I think you know it's kind of the, there's a lot of artisan and sort of couturier skills that are being lost from from British manufacturing and you know they're not necessarily taken care of as well as they could be and so I think the work that they're doing is immensely important to the British fashion industry. For me it's been a complete privilege um, as a designer you're you can be quite protect not protective over your ideas but so many of the ideas you visualize and you know exactly how you would hope for them to be translated and they have immediately picked up on it and it's been a complete joy and like i said privilege and incredibly exciting to be able to collaborate with someone like that because i think then coming together you create the most amazing piece. How's uh, Hand Lock evolved over the years? Um it's difficult to say because the actual art of embroidery hasn't really changed for thousands of years. So the things that we do today is still the same things that we did 250 years ago. So yeah, we're, we're working with the same techniques. The only thing that has been introduced is probably computers, uh, digital machine embroidery, um, more efficient way of working, uh, so we're a little bit faster. Um, but yeah, we essentially still do the same things as we did before, which is, I think, what makes Handelock so special.